Okay, guys, I think I am getting the hang of things. I'm just trying to connect to both Facebook and Instagram and hopefully it works. So if you can see me, uh, say hello, share some hearts, and likes and all those type, kinds of things because <laughs> I need to know that you guys can see me. So I am very excited and honored to be able to share with you guys tonight about balancing our emotions with oils. So if we haven't met, my name is Rachel Trekkie and I have been using oils for about five years now. And my reason for starting to use oils had nothing to do with emotions. I didn't even think that that was a thing that you could use oils for emotional support. I thought they were kind of, you know, oh yeah, maybe they were kind of hippie-ish. I hadn't found a need or a want yet for, for the emotional support. So... When I began using oils for emotional support, that's kind of where my big aha moment was. When I felt a big shift in myself, when I started to feel differently, when I started to be able to, um, you know, guide myself and work through emotions and, and feel better overall, was when I started to use oils for emotions. So I'm really excited to talk about this topic and this special feelings kit. Um, if we haven't met below or if we haven't met at all, um, comment below maybe where you're from. If you have used the feelings kit at all, I would love to know who my fellow emotional support people are. And we're going to start with something different. So I've been starting to do this. Again, it's an emotional support tool. So I have been starting to do little attunements, little kind of mini meditations at the beginning of most of the classes and presentations that I do because it's such a powerful shift for me, I know, um, as obviously I get a little bit nervous and, and talking online and I'm sure other people do too. So I think just taking a moment to do something like that at the beginning is really powerful. So grab whatever oil you have, something that you're drawn to. I'm going to use Release, which is one of the Feelings Kit oils. And wherever you are, if you're able to, so stop, just have a seat. And we're going to close our eyes and do a short attunement. So I'm going to use Release oil. So put a drop or roll in your hands and rub your hands together, just kind of activating the oil. Oils have frequencies. Oils um, are like energy, everything has an energy, so doing this kind of just activates it and gets it rolling. So we're going to start with three big, big, big belly breaths, re breathing in, but also releasing everything. So release is a good one for me too for this, but breathe in a big breath, breathe out a big breath, breathe in, breathe out. Big breath in, big breath out. And if you want, you can keep your eyes closed. You can put your palms face down, face up, wherever feels comfortable. I'm just gonna walk you through a short little attunement. So, as you sit here with your eyes closed, getting comfortable in whatever seat you're in, I want you to think about that oil that you just inhaled, how it's traveling through your nose, into your brain, just letting it wash over your brain, your emotions, your body, your heart. And just let that oil flood through your whole system. Oils are really powerful for emotional work, which we're going to talk about. They're powerful for physical, spiritual work. And they're such a gift. So making sure that we're actually paying attention to the oils that we're using and really honoring them and soaking them up as we're, we're applying them or inhaling them. And I want you to think about one emotion that you're feeling right now. Maybe it is nervous, maybe it's relaxed, maybe it's stress. Emotions are just a daily part of life, but how we react to them and how we support them truly makes a difference. Remembering that we have all the tools we need within us to support ourselves physically, emotionally, mentally, 
and oils are just extra tools in our toolbox to enhance those effects. I want everyone to take a big breath of whatever oil you chose. And you can open your eyes and join me again. I would love for you to share what emotion came up that you were feeling at the beginning of that and then what emotion you felt after. You might feel a shift in, um, you know, an emotional shift might be feeling a bit heavy to feeling lighter or it might be a shift from feeling um, stress to a bit more calm. When we really focus on using our oils with intention and purpose, we can have really magical things happen for our emotions. So that's what this whole little chat is about. And I am really blessed to be able to share this with you because it, like I mentioned, it has been such a powerful shift for me. So before I forget, we are giving away a feelings kit. Again, my favorite, favorite thing. So making sure that you are commenting and sharing and asking questions. If you have questions about, um, you know, how these oils work or how to fit them into your life, please ask questions. There's so many of us in, in these groups and these calls every week that we can help support each other. So we are giving away a feelings kit, super exciting. Um, and we're going to have a couple other little giveaways throughout the class. So making sure that you are joined and engaged. So why oils and why do they work so well for emotional support? So oils are made up of really, really tiny molecules. Their natural chemical constituents come from plants. That's why it's so important that we're using seed to seal young living oils so that we know the purity is there and we know that there's nothing else in them that we're just getting the pure oil and it can help support us. So oils have these tiny, tiny molecules and they actually cross into our blood brain barrier. So they work really well for our brain. So things for emotions, things like sleep, things, things that go on in the brain, oils work really well for that. It takes about 26 seconds for oils to absorb onto your skin. So like if I roll release behind my ears in about 30 seconds, I might start to feel a big, a little bit of a shift. But the difference when you're inhaling an oil, so whether that be diffusing, whether it be tenting like I did at the beginning and inhaling, is that they don't have to pass through any barriers. They don't have to pass through the skin. They don't have to pass through the gut if you're digesting one of our Vitality or our Plus oils. They just go right into the brain. And scent is really powerful in that way is that we can't choose to smell something or not smell something, right? Like if you, you know, didn't take out your garbage this week and you... Um, or, you know, smell something that's a little gross, you can't choose to not smell that, right? But you could choose to close your eyes. So our, our sense of sight is different than our sense of smell, right? Um, so that's something that's very, very powerful about our sense of smell and why oils work so well um, for that sense. So they cross right into our blood brain barrier In you inhale them, they go through your um, nose, your olfactory system, and they basically bypass everything else and go into your brain. And the very important part that oils work on is your limbic center of your brain. So I'm not going to dig into all the science behind it, but your limbic center is your emotional center. So it controls everything from, you know, well, your brain controls everything from like breathing, respirations, um, your sex drive, your metabolism. Your brain is like your your powerhouse. Oh, my iCloud thing's coming up. Ignore. Um and your limbic center is your emotional control center. So things like memory, scent and memory are so linked together. If you've ever smelt, like I remember what my grandma's sheets used to smell like in her closet and maybe I'll cry. Um, and like emotions and scent and memory are so, so linked together. Like if you have a favorite, um, you know, maybe you have a favorite scent or a favorite flower and every time you smell it, it just brings you back um, emotions and memories. That's because scent and emotion work so well with that, that limbic portion of your brain. So how we can use this to our advantage is to support ourselves daily with emotional, um, emotional supporting tools, not only oils, but other things that work together. So oils are like, we want to kind of get on autopilot when we're using oils because then they just make it into our home easier, right? Like in the morning I wake up, I throw oils in my diffuser. Um, you know, I apply my emotional support oils. I apply my hormone support oils, but you can kind of get, I want to say a little, um, 
I don't know what the word is, like lenient or a little complacent when using oils if you don't have intention behind them. So like we kind of want autopilot as in you want that routine, but if, and second nature, but if we're not thinking about why we're using something and having a thought behind it an intention and a purpose for emotions, it might not work at, at all as well so me putting on release if i'm still having really negative thoughts if i'm um you know down on myself if i'm not doing something maybe like breathing or meditation or yoga or walking outside or just having that intention behind it is very powerful so we do have to use those tools together there isn't just one or the other. Same with if you know if you're on medication for maybe um, emotional things or mental health or physical things, anything that you're on medication for. Being on the med might not do as much as pairing it with something, let's say like physical activity or um, meditation or whatever, like whatever thing you are trying to support. It works a lot better if you if you pair it together, right? That's just the way the body works. The body really wants to be um, in unison. Our oils can affect us physically, or sorry, our emotions can affect us physically. So if we are not feeling, you know, if we're feeling sad or run down or maybe having a lot of grief, we might feel that physically. We might end up having, you know, a headache. We might have back pain. We might not feel great. And our physical body can affect us emotionally, right? If you have a headache, do you really think you're the same person? Are you a little bit grouchier? Are you a little bit more um, on edge? You might feel a little bit more run down. Our emotions and our physical body really, they, they wanna be in harmony, right? Like they wanna be homeostatic. That's how oils work and that's how our body is meant to work. So they want to work together and they really wanna both feel good. So I don't think that we can um, truly feel that balance if we're supporting one and not the other. But I think emotions sometimes get left out of left out of the game, right? Like maybe you um, go to the gym and you work out, but your mindset's really crappy and you're not thinking about um, balancing your emotions and you're always grouchy, right? <laughs> like physical and emotion, emotional are also really important and they both need they both need support. So that's why this kit is so special. So these oils, there's six of them that come in the feelings kit and they are specifically designed here i'll put on this side for instagram they're specifically designed to work on certain parts of the body to focus on different areas that we need support with emotionally again like i said you're not going to throw on an oil and like so alicia mentioned on instagram it's not a band-aid for emotions you have to do the work behind it just like there's no band-aids for physical issues there's none for emotional issues either right if we want to feel better overall we want to feel more balanced we have to do that work we have to do put in the work both with the tools that we have and the oils that we have and pair those tools together so there's no right or wrong way to use oils for emotions the point is to be pairing those intentionally when you're doing them. So let's do a giveaway because I feel like I've been talking for a little bit. So first, um, let's see what is your favorite emotional support oil? I would love to hear all of your favorites. Emotions are also really amazing too because some people might have like a really um, strong love for an oil and some people might have a really like strong aversion to an oil and both could be used for emotional support. So. Um, know that that's okay if you have different preferences, but I would love to know what your favorite emotional support oil is. And we're going to give away a wooden um, diffuser, like wooden leaves, they're diffuser, um, like that you can hang from your car. So Meredith will help me out with that. And then we're going to get talking about the specific oils. So like I mentioned, they are six oils that our founder, Gary Young, focused on creating to be able to work as a kind of a protocol, right? Like a, a set that you do together. So for me, how I started exploring it was I heard it was helpful for emotions and I started to try meditating and I wanted to pair those together. So every evening, that's how I use my feelings kit is I apply them in a specific order, which we'll kind of go through. I have intention behind them, I have purpose, and I meditate after. That's my routine. Your routine might be um, having a bath, your routine might be prayer, your routine might be walk, it might be listening to something. Whatever your intention and your purpose and your routine is, that's going to be unique to you, but knowing that that's where you're really going to have success is that, that focus and intention with it. So 
Valor is the first one. I think almost every single person I've ever met loves Valor. So Valor is a special blend Ooh, for Instagram here. It is probably one of the most common ones that people get after the starter bundle I find. And it is a really amazing oil for balancing and equalizing our body's energy. So like I mentioned at the beginning, our body has energies, oils have energies, and we really want to try balance those. So how the protocol works if you are going to do them all, and if you don't have these, that's like have all of them, that's fine. Just use what you have. Um, there's no right or wrong, but how this protocol works is Valor you're going to place on the bottoms of your feet at night, and this is going to help balance and equalize your body's energy. You might roll it on your wrists throughout the day, behind your ears. I tent with it in the morning. There's so many ways to use Valor. I'm sure lots of you guys have suggestions. You can share those too. But this is just how the protocol works, so we're going to walk through that. And Valor is one that I find... It just helps calm me. So I put it on before any kind of like speaking, if I'm feeling a bit stressed or anxious or I'm, I'm driving and I just need a little bit more support. Valor is a beautiful, beautiful oil. And I will mention kind of as a disclaimer that these are tools, like I mentioned. So they're supposed to support your body with intention, with purpose. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. And the point of it is to support. They're tools in our toolbox. I'm not diagnosing anything, not treating, not curing anything. That's not the point of oils. The point of oils is to be a support to whatever tools you have in your toolbox, whether that be um, you know, body movement, meditating, um, medication, whatever your tools in your toolbox are, please know that you can always add in oils with those. And um, I'm not suggesting that you stop any, you know, medications or things like that. It's just you work with them and add tools. So Valor, amazing. Next is Harmony. And these are all blends, which I also think you, I feel like you get a little bit more bang for your buck when you get Young Living blends because they're just blended to perfection, like actual perfection. I am, I don't know how they come up with them so amazing, but Gary Young was such an amazing man and he put his literal heart and soul into creating blends like this for us. So Harmony is amazing. Here, I'll show you guys how I would do it. I mean, on your feet, you kind of get, but I literally just roll Valor on both of my feet um, every night before bed. And then Harmony works on your energy centers. So I'm um, not going to dig into it tons, but you have seven energy points on your body, other, otherwise known as chakras, and they go in from your base of your um, like bum, your sacral chakra, or sorry, your um, root chakra, go all the way up to your head. Okay, that's all you need to know. So Harmony works on those energy centers. So how I like to do it is I just like to run Harmony along my back. So I go down like this, and then I go down my neck like that. And you kind of hit all of them. Might I miss some? Sure, because I can't reach that. Um, but the point is just to get harmony on those energy centers of the body. So harmony balances our parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Harmony helps obviously with feeling harmony and kind of peace and confidence and just that balance again. So it's a beautiful oil. I love to diffuse it too. It is magic. If you do not have harmony, you definitely need that one. Next is forgiveness. So forgiveness is one I actually didn't love the smell of. I hated it when I first smelt it. And I'm not sure you guys can let me know if you've ever heard this before, but I have heard that if you hate the smell of an oil, it means your body needs it. It means that you just, you know, need some work in that area. Like I used to hate joy, absolutely hate it. Um, now I love it. So I probably need a little bit more work on my joy. Forgiveness, hated it. And still don't love it, but it's it's growing on me a little bit, and I use it every day as part of my routine. So forgiveness is um, forgiveness for yourself, but forgiveness for others too. So um, having unforgiveness is basically the root of physical unwell, like unwellness in physical, um, mental, spiritual sense. If you don't forgive yourself or forgive someone else, you're going to be holding on to so much negative energy so much resentment so much you know distrust whatever those feelings are so forgiveness is really kind of the root of where 
those things um, can start to heal. So forgiveness is going to go around your navel clockwise and think of a situation where you need to forgive yourself of, or others. So I'll show you how I put it on. So I just roll it and I put it around my navel a few times. That's it. Of course, you can use these oils in the sense of you can diffuse them. These are just the topical way that we're going to apply them during um, kind of the protocol. If anyone loves forgiveness or has smelt it, <laughs> let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, next is present time. Again, not when I love, 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 but I definitely enjoy some parts of it. And like Janelle said, Janelle mentioned on Instagram, sometimes you might enjoy the smell of an oil. Sometimes you might feel a little bit uh, about it. And that just might be your, you know, emotional state, your physical state, your mental state. Um, it doesn't mean that the oil is bad or you can't use it. It just mean, might mean that you need a little bit of support um, change, right? So present time. So when we live in the past or dwell on the future, we are not productive in our present. If we're worrying about the past and what, you know, mistakes we've made or things we didn't do or, you know, who has wronged you, like that kind of ties to forgiveness and not forgiving. Or if we're focusing on the, the future and we're thinking about, well, what do I have to do next? Or how can I do this? Then we're not focusing on the present. And that is really important to be mindful and mindfulness is a very very important part of emotional balance is just noticing things so like right now the sun is beautiful on the roof across the house from me my cat is sleeping across from me and she's snuggling and moving her little paws like mindfulness is noticing beauty in every day and just being grateful for it so present time is a really powerful oil for this and present time, how you're gonna use it is to put, you can either put it in your hand or I'm just gonna apply it here and show you guys where it is. And we want it on our thymus. So this is this part kind of on your sternum bone. And your thymus is actually really important for your immune system. So you're gonna apply the present time right there. So you might wanna rub it in. You can inhale it, you can diffuse it, and this is going to help keep you focused on today with your intention. <sighs> I do love it today. <laughs> and then last but not least is inner child. So again, inner child was not one I like loved, not one I craved. It's a very sweet smell. I actually really enjoy it now. It's citrusy, it's sweet, um, it is, it's a beautiful oil. And inner child, we want to put, or I'll talk about this first. So think back to when you were a child. Did you kind of have any fears? Did you have any doubts? Did you, you know, worry about what someone said about you or worry about what you're gonna do in five years or any of the kinds of things? No, children believe that everything is possible. Children believe that they are, powerful they believe in imagination and fun and creativity and joy like kids have it right if you watch kids and you're around kids like they've got it right so we need to be a little bit more like children some days we need to be a little bit more fun and relaxed and just you know soaking up what we can as human beings doesn't matter what age you are is just kind of living a little bit more into your childlike self so um, when you're a child, there are no limitations. So for inner child, you can either put it, I've read, I've read a couple different things. So I've read on the tip of your nose, I've read on the roof of your mouth, which I don't do, or on the top of your head. So on this like crown part, which is your energy cent, another energy center, your crown chakra. So another way that you can use the oil. Whoop. That is kind of the protocol. So you can pair these oils with meditation, you can pair them with affirmations, you can uh, 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 compare them with prayer, you can pair them with um, whatever you want, whatever you want to do um, so that it becomes a part of your routine. Using something once really won't um, make a shift in your life. You might feel a little bit of a change, um, especially for emotions like, yeah, you might feel a bit better and you might start to feel some shifts, but when things happen, you know, and there's hiccups in your life or things get stressful or you run a little bit less on time and, and you don't fit in these things. And I'm speaking from experience when I don't fit in my routine of, 
um, feelings kit every night and meditation every night, I don't feel great. I wake up in the morning or I have trouble sleeping and I think like, oh, what's going on? Like, I just don't feel myself. And I think I'm like, yep, yeah, didn't make time for that meditation or, oh, no, nope, forgot to do this, right? When we actually just spend moments, like this does not have to take half an hour or an hour of your time. When we spend moments of our day being mindful, um, being intentional, doing breathing, and really utilizing these oils that we have. So like the oils are magic, guys. If you don't know that already, like they're powerful. They are blended to perfection, like I said. And if you don't know that they're powerful and magical already for us, um, just try pairing them with something. So pair them with um, the things that I mentioned. And maybe you guys can um, brainstorm some other suggestions of what you like to do. Journaling is another good one to pair it with. Um, yoga, walking, like whatever you want to pair your oils with is totally fine. But making it part of a routine. So even just a five-minute routine can truly, truly change your day. So... That's kind of it about the feelings kit. Uh, all of them can be diffused. I personally choose to apply them um, topically. Oh, and release. Oh gosh, where's release? I didn't do it. Okay, <laughs> because I used that as my oil. Okay, I did not forget release. There's one left. So release is actually one of my favorites. It was, I think I tried it even before Valor. So release is all about releasing negative energy. So it is one that is powerful for our liver. Liver is where your anger is stored in your body. If you um, look into where emotions are stored in the body, they're stored in different parts. So release is one that I apply on my liver um, twice a day, actually. So your liver is right here on your right side, and I just roll it over. That's it. And again, I have that intention and that purpose with it. So think of situations where you need to forgive your... Oh, ooh wrong spot um release any stored anger resentment bitterness hatred jealousy all of those kinds of things that can you know hold on to you and just kind of drag you down like when you think of releasing something you feel a bit freer right you feel a bit lighter that's because all of those things that we're hanging on to are just kind of dragging us down and holding us down so Please, please, please use release. I use it twice a day and I'm a nurse, so I bring it with me to work and I use it more than twice a day usually. So that is now all of the six oils. Um, I'll share a post that goes through where to place them and stuff because I know that's something that's intimidating for people at first is like, well, where do I apply them and what if I'm not doing it right? First, take a breath and know that it doesn't matter where you apply them. These are specific points that we suggested and that is part of um, just like the protocol that Gary Young developed, but there's no right or wrong. So if I apply release on my, on my wrists instead of applying on my liver, but I have really good intention and um, thought behind why I'm applying it and pairing it with another tool, then I'm still gonna feel shifts, right? So don't get caught up on where to put it or how to do it, just making sure that they're on your body, that you're using um, mindfulness with them and you will start to see really big shifts. So you're always welcome to ask questions about these. These are things, this kit is something that I've used every day for probably almost three years now. It's something that I cannot live without. I love it. It's my number one favorite thing. If you do not have it, go out and buy it. It is available. So all of these oils are available on the Canadian side. Um, you can buy them individually or you can buy this um, special collection altogether on the USA side. Canadians can order it too. It's just called NFR and whoever invited you can definitely help you with that. I want everyone, so one person's gonna win this. I'm actually so excited. I can't wait to hear who, who will win. Um, but I want you to, to be entered. Obviously you have to comment and share and engage. I really want you to share one word that you want to feel in 2021. So what is your word? My word for 2021 is growth. So it must be, it might be, um, you know, growth in my personal life. It might be growth in my business. It might be growth in my mindset. My word is growth. And it again, it's just a, an intention that I have with things that I'm doing in my day. So I would love to hear what your word is for this year. And remember to pair your oils 
with daily thoughts, daily work, intentions, and yeah, so happy to have you guys here and super excited to see who wins. So always ask questions. If you need support, I'll go look at the comments after. Thank you guys for having me. It was such a beautiful, beautiful class with you guys. See you.